The BrainFrame platform is designed to accelerate problem solving in any video analytics domain. The textile industry has experienced a rapid change in how consumers are choosing their garments. Personalized garments have become mainstream, leading to smaller batches, more variety, and shorter delivery periods. These changes have made it important for the textile industry to improve its operational efficiency and provide transparency in the order and production tracking process. This project was done in partnership with Intel and deployed by Kinko, a manufacturing automation company. The goal that the project accomplished was to allow factories to have real-time knowledge of how many finished products of each order have been produced and the exact number for each SKU. This allows the factory managers to have real-time information on which order is on the production line and how many have been made, at which stage, and the throughput of each product line at any given time. The real-time data can be fed into an e-commerce system to help customers manage time-sensitive orders, for example, the holiday season shipping. Now I'm going to walk you through exactly how this project was set up and how BrainFrame is flexible and can solve problems in many industry verticals. The first step of any BrainFrame project is to add video sources to the platform. As you can see here, videos are being added as files, but this project in production was using IP cameras. The next step in setting up a BrainFrame solution is to choose your vision capsules. Vision capsules are an open source format published under the OpenCV umbrella that enable video analytic solutions to be built and deployed quickly. Simply drag and drop a capsule into the appropriate directory and BrainFrame will immediately display live results from that algorithm. Think of it as installing an app from the App Store. What you see on screen right now is us dragging in our DTAG algorithm, which is a proprietary algorithm capable of detecting tags from a great distance with high accuracy. Furthermore, we've dragged in an encoder for clothing. This allows BrainFrame to understand the appearance of different clothing and recognize which skew of clothing is currently being analyzed. Finally, we have our counter capsule, which is capable of counting work based on information from the other two capsules. The amazing thing about the vision capsules format is that it organizes capsules into a graph of inputs and outputs. So capsules can work independently of each other, but receive inputs from the other capsules. BrainFrame will automatically schedule the inference of these different algorithms. Now, once a capsule is loaded, it can expose different settings that can be configured by the user to BrainFrame, which will then show it to you through the UI. What the operator is doing right now is changing settings on a stream-specific level. So they're essentially saying, for this particular video, I want this capsule to work in this particular way. And they can also change settings on a global basis. All of the settings and configuration is saved and managed by BrainFrame, so you only have to set things up once and then you can deploy. The next step in setting up this particular project is to upload reference images of the different SKUs. In production, this was done automatically through the API. But for this demonstration, we're going to show you how you can upload reference images through the UI. This same system can be used for face recognition. You can imagine dragging in a face recognition capsule and then uploading images of employees for a particular store so that you can know what time they arrive. In this case, we're uploading reference images of clothing and the clothing encoder will be used by BrainFrame to recognize them later inside of the live video stream. Now with those reference images uploaded, you can actually see the SKU being recognized correctly there as being 0001. This is all happening in real time based on those uploaded reference images. Now that we can see the SKU being correctly recognized, it's time to put all of this together using BrainFrame's dashboarding system. It's easy to create and modify these different queries in order to show real-time dashboards to the end customer. As you can see here, there's a dashboard showing the different SKUs and the amount of finished work that has been produced for each SKU. So every time a worker finishes folding, packaging, and placing the clothing in the output pile, the count will increase for the correct SKU. This allows the worker to change what SKU they're working on at any given time 
but still maintain the correct count. To recap what we've covered, the first step of setting up a BrainFrame system is to connect your video sources. These can come from video files, IP cameras, or even webcams. Then you select your vision capsules, which will decide what kind of information is extracted from the video. These vision capsules can rely on each other, can be developed, or can come from uh, our existing large library of vision capsules. After that, you can customize the options exposed from these vision capsules on a global or per stream basis. Finally, you can design a dashboard that will be shown to the end customer with just the analytics that they need. For the remainder of the video, watch as this system correctly classifies and analyzes work done for different SKUs and displays it on the dashboard.